hello it's Sarah and in this video I wanted to share with you guys a simple way that we can remind ourselves to be more present um, with a behavior that we're working on so I'm just gonna call them slogan bracelets now uh, those of you who watch my channel know that I'm involved in 12-step recovery and I really love the slogans um, in the beginning for me I know how important is it was a super important one that I could just grab onto that how important is it and think and just take that minute and think is it really that important do I really need to say something or is it important and I need to say something you know so anyway I've been kind of making bracelets because I think it's something tangible that I can look down and and remind myself um, to have faith um, the, this little turtle is all about patience for me so I've also been using semi-precious gemstones so I have some labradorite here rose quartz this is morganite this one's obsidian I believe uh, of course clear quartz and amethyst um, I have a little cross to represent my faith as well as a hamsa hand because you guys know I love I love all faiths and I just think it's about if you have faith just be happy <laughs> don't try to push yours on me but you know anyway so what I found I wanted to share with you guys is these little um, letters and they're small I want to say uh, like these beads are a six millimeter so it's probably only a four millimeter and I ripped the when I opened the box I ripped the label so I don't even really know if it said it on here they were 50% off they're $21.99 but I think it's a great value and it was 50% off so for 10 bucks I've made so many so let me show you what I'm gonna do today um, I am like this is an 8 millimeter bead so I did my little turtle beads with them but what I've been using are mainly six millimeter and I think it could be okay either way like so these letter beads are those kind of the in the kids section I mean they're they're probably in all in the beading section I think in Hobby Lobby they have all the different types right in the beading section but you know usually you think of these in the kid aisle so I have a serenity bracelet and a listen it's listen and learn but I think because I found these tiny ones, I'm able to put, look, this says easy does it. Um, I made keep it simple. And I just put, I'll, I'll zoom in, but I put little crystals in the middle to like be the spacer. Um, let it begin with me. That's the al uh, let's see, that's our declaration. So let it begin with me. I have to behave my way to anyway <laughs> live and let live is a classic we all need to live and let live mind your business <laughs> it's just hard to do especially as parents so anyway today's I'm gonna make faith over fear and I think it's something that I'm starting to think about more so that's the great thing about these program the program is that you take what you like and leave the rest and you don't always hear what you need what you need um, let me let me see how I'm trying to say so this is garnet now I've been saving and I googled faith like a, a semi precious stone for faith and garnet came right up and I I've had this it's called Chinese garnet six millimeter round stone so I'm gonna make the bracelet um, with the garnet and it's going to say faith over fear but what I was going to say is um, I think a lot of people don't realize how fear motivates our behaviors our attitudes um, and our thoughts and and it's very interesting when you start to really look at what you're afraid of and how it makes you feel and how it makes you um, respond to things and I think if we put faith over fear so really just let go and let God like be in the moment and just know that it's going to be okay um, try to mind my business and only take care of me anyway uh, it could help a lot if we come from a place of compassion and love and um, all those 
godly things, right? The things that we should be doing, treating each other as human beings, because nobody's perfect, right? So anyway, faith over fear. I just love it. I'm going to grab um, a couple crystals because I like to just use... I have so many. Now, I was also going to mention that this... When you get the brown one, and I've definitely got these on sale, but this one is probably more expensive. I want to say like $8, but if I got it on sale, it was probably 50% off. But you don't have to, like I know the Morganite was probably, I have a lot of like the red. So this is um, Tiger's Eye. And the red one, it's like 3 bucks for a strand. And you could probably make two bracelets out of that. So it's not expensive. The other thing you're going to need is some stretchy cord because I love stretchy cords because I can just pull them all off and on. Um, and they, it, it's very strong. I mean, it really is. This one seems like I used a thicker gauge. This one I'm going to use a little thinner gauge. This one is a 0.5 millimeter, but I have a couple different. Um, and it's really like this one's 0.7. It's just a little thicker. The smaller the number, the thinner it is. Um, and I, I think the 0.5 is just as strong. It's just thinner so I can get it in the thinner holes. So let me see if I have, I need two crystals that I can put in between. This one looks good. I love the Aurora Borealis crystals because um, that's a little too big. It's actually the same size as that, but I'm going to go... And I'm just looking. I have them all in here. Um, I should have gotten them out before I started the video. And I'm sorry about that because it takes time. Um, so, instead of getting a tattoo <laughs> to listen and learn. Ooh, this is like flat. So it's not exactly. Oh, jeez. Um, I was thinking about getting tattoos of putting the slogans right on my body and I thought well that's a bit much why don't I just make a bracelet and you know what else it does is it's kind of a little bit more of a um a, a, like people will see them and be like oh what's that say and stuff you know so um this is one day at a time because one day at a time I can do this for one day and don't worry about tomorrow and don't, you know, think about yesterday, but just do it for one day. So I think I'm going to use, oh, they're the same. They're both the flat ones. Good. So I'm going to go. So what I do is I just take a length and I'm going to, I wear a seven inch approximately bracelet. So I have a little measurement here and I go to about nine and I cut it just so you have, oops, a couple inches of, um, play and then you give it a stretch just give it a stretch before you get started so that it's um I don't know breaks the tension I'm gonna come in a little bit and I'm not gonna do the whole thing on camera but what I like to do so now I've got everything in here I still need to add a few more beads now um you can add whatever you want that you have in your stash. I had these little metal turtles, so I just filled in with those. And like a little flower bead and silver. On my Serenity one, I put a little dangle. And these little flower beads. My butterfly is kind of plain. I just put the butterfly and used garnet and labradorite. And this little, usually I tie my knot and I try to hide it underneath the bigger bead. But on these, I haven't been doing it. So, for instance, I didn't use any silver on these. It's just the natural bead, and then there's a knot right there. Like, I can see the knot, but they're for me. I don't mind. I, I could probably cut that a little shorter, and I'd be fine. But you don't notice it, so I don't get crazy about it. Um, but for the most part, I was kind of hiding my knot underneath a silver bead. Uh, but you can put a dangle, you can put whatever you want. I'm just using, I'm just keeping the, the saying as my focal point. So I'm not really getting fancy schmancy. And that way you can keep it simple, right? That's another slogan. Keep it simple. Um, I don't like when I overthink things. So this is right about at 7 inches. I think it's going to be fine. 
So you just start stringing, and this has a little flat part on it. Now these garnet are uh, just round, and they're not real red red, but I can kind of see it. Um, and I wanted to tell you what, uh, because that's another thing that I started doing when I was trying to figure out my face. Um, was I started looking into crystals, crystal healing, feng shui, um, cause, because of yoga. And um, see that one has a flat spot I don't really love. So yoga and coming up, the 11th step is about getting, <laughs> focusing your attention on your higher power through meditation and prayer. And because I grew up without a religious background, um, yoga was a way for me to kind of introduce myself to that spiritual kind of being present um, and knowing that I'm not the only one. It's not all about me. I just want to see what this garnet says real quick. Um, I think I have it right on here. It revitalizes, purifies, and balances energy, bringing serenity or passion as appropriate. It inspires love and devotion. Garnet balances the sex drive and alleviates emotional disharmony. It activates and strengthens the survival instinct, bringing courage and hope. So, look, that's a lot of stuff, but, and I don't know if I believe it or if it's actually true, but faith all faith is is believing and if I just tell myself now I want to make sure I don't um, do these backwards so I'm going from the back so fear is first F E um, but I like the idea of it I like that it, if, if it is true look if you can't prove it's not true why not believe it's true you know what I mean like I'm I'm not I'm just here trying to have a, a good life <laughs> let's see over so I have to make sure I'm spelling things right and the letters are going in the right way but there's tons of letters in this little kit so I've made at least six of these bracelets so far and I'm not running out of any letters um, I used a Y so they have I haven't used an X yet but they're in there or a Z F A I T H um, so that's me you know that's my thing now look you could just say, you know what another expression is that's um, progress, not perfection. That is such a good one. And it's like even as a parent to tell your kids like not to get, don't be a, try not to be a perfectionist because nobody's perfect and forgive yourself. That was a big thing um, that I've learned is if you want to be forgiving, forgive yourself first. You know, we're so hard on ourselves. Anyway, I'm um, going to show you. I have two more to go. These are sparkly. I see sparkle. Anything sparkly I love. So it says faith over fear. I spelled it right. I'm just going to let you see. I could probably add, let's see, three, six, seven, eight three six seven eight nine I think I am gonna put one more on this side because there'll be nine on each side and um, I think it's gonna make it just a little more perfect now the only other thing I didn't mention is glue I just like to put and I used to use um, nail polish like clear nail polish I'm gonna go back up I'm just making sure this is open I have to stick a little needle in the so this is um, glossy accents because I'm a crafter and I have so many adhesives but this is just a pretty strong clear glue good so what I do is I crisscross go once then I'll do it again so I make my second knot and leave my finger in there and then I just take the glue I put a tiny drop and I just pull and then I go one more time and I think it just kind of makes me feel safer I don't know if it actually holds the knot or not but that's what I do and I will take the scissors that I dropped <laughs> because they're sharper and all I do is just get close but not too close 
and there you go. Fear, oh, faith over fear. And this is my garnet, so it's faith. Now, on my other faith bracelet, I have a little Hamsa hand. So it depends, but I'm just piling them on. And then that little bling in, the, in between the words is just making me happy. This is the Obsidian. I think Easy Does It is going to be um, November's slogan for me this time. Um, I try to fo have a mantra that I really try to focus on every month. Um, last month was acceptance, just plain old acceptance of myself, of others, of the world, and, and then making choices based on that. So I hope you guys like this video and I never say this but if you did give it a th thumbs up and maybe subscribe <laughs> I post from time to time it's always in real time and I just share what I love um, with you guys but yeah hopefully you'll get some letter bracelets um, to, to keep yourself on point all right you guys thanks for watching